and we can now make the diamond chisel. Oh, baby, it's a beautiful thing. So we can now mine anything in the game, guys, including diamond itself. Oh, I love it. And check this out. It even has a diamond on the end of it. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. This game's awesome, dudes. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn. I am an old guy gaming, and this is the Discovery Update. And in this episode, we are going to continue working on our base, getting some more upgrades. Uh, our major goal is to get the forge made and, um, a, and a wrench after we make the forge, if, if we can do so. And I think we'll be able to do that. So I've done a few things off camera, not a whole lot. I salvaged everything over in this um, habitat here, um, but I'm not going to I'm not going to fix this habitat right now we might fix it later uh so i got all the salvage out here but i'm going to leave these in place because notice it says if i if, if i put my um uh multi-tool here it says g to dismantle well, i don't want to do that if if i'm planning on fixing this up later because this piece is already in place uh, i am going to leave all the crates here uh so that when we log out and log back in we can re-loot them um so those will stay there however this habitat here this is the one we're going to actually fix up which means we have to clear everything out of here so uh, even the crates are going to have to go as well as all the salvage so that we can then, you know, uh, repair it and restore it to our living quarters. Um, so um, I'm not I, I, I think what I want to do, though, before I finish uh, or, or before I continue to do that is uh, let's look in here. So I actually found a pistol in a few rounds. Um, so we're going to take that because we'll be able to repair it and then actually use it, even though the pistol kind of sucks. But, you know, it's better than not having a pistol at all, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! We've got another bolt rifle. Wow, I have never seen this in uh, in experimental or the previous stable release. I've only seen pistols, and I lucked out once and found an assault rifle. We've already found two bolt rifles. That's amazing. Um, the the downside of that, though, is you know we're not going to be able to make uh, ammunition for them for a little while yet. Not until we get a uh, a, a 3D printer made, essentially. But that's not too far off, really. Uh, let's turn our light on so we can see what's going on. So all the rest of this crap over here, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna salvage. Um, we'll probably make this our our biodome. We'll fix that one up, you know, for the garden. And then the rest of that stuff over there, you know, we're just gonna leave it. Uh, I'll salvage it, but I'm gonna leave it in place for now because we might end up utilizing it later. All right. Well, let's go ahead and hop down here. And the first thing I want to do is do the upgrade for the workbench. Now, I have spent uh, quite a bit of time, well, I shouldn't say quite a bit of time, it didn't take me too long, uh, off-camera organizing things. So let's just take a quick look at that. Uh, this is going to hold ingots and ores uh, if, you know, if we don't fill it up with ingots. This is going to hold ores. Whoops, this is the bottom one. This is going to hold ores. And as you can see, I did some mining off-camera on my way back to camp. So we mined up um, a stack of sulfur, a stack of lead, and I got some tin, and we got some silver too. Oh, and some mercury. Um, so these two are empty because they're going to also be filled with ores. We're going to need them later on, so I'm just leaving them empty for now. Uh, this has all of our repaired uh, technical components, so our wires and our batteries, or not batteries, but our power cells, that sort of thing, rubber, plastic, et cetera, et cetera. The one below it um, holds the, the broken stuff that needs to be repaired. Um, so I'm, oh, for goodness sakes, dude... What the hell, man? Okay, here. Let's just deal with these morons first. Oh my goodness. Health, 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 health. I just realized <laughs> my health is really bad. Um, okay. Okay, he's out of the way. And he's out of the way. Alright. These guys are such a nuisance. Um, all right, so what do we got here? Yeah, this is our, our text, our repaired tech stuff. This is our broken tech stuff. This is, what is this? Oh, this is going to be for scrap and hinges because we're going to get a whole bunch of that uh, over time. So we'll keep scrapping hinges in there. Um, that's not, uh, that's not allocated for anything right yet. This is going to be food. Okay, so we did find some potatoes and carrots in, in some bins plus, you know, meat, extra meat, that sort of thing. And this is basically biomaterial. So, you know, plant material, leather, hide, crap talents, that sort of thing in there. Um, this is going to be for 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 barrels. This is a, a broken barrel, though, so that actually goes in here because it needs to be repaired. Um, but whole barrels that we find and 
and glass jars and stuff will go in here. And that, that's pretty much how our inventory is sorted at present. Now, uh, I do have a little bit of, of aluminum, copper, and stuff from um, from salvaging. So let's put this stuff in here. Um, oh, and I mined up some gold, too. So, yeah, we got we got a full stack of gold and then a little bit more. So let's actually put the other gold in here, and we'll put the lithium down here. I like to try and keep things together as much as possible. Oh, wow, we got a cobalt. Oh, cool. Okay, we got that from salvaging because we can't mine it yet. I just realized that. We got some more aluminum there, so is this aluminum? Yeah, so we'll put that aluminum in there, and we'll put the cobalt in there, too. Cool. All right, so now uh, let's go down here to here. We'll put this scrap stuff in here. All of this broken stuff can go in here because we are going to fix it. Uh, but before we do that, we have a few more ingots now, too. So let's move uh, you, you, and you out of here, and we'll put these ingots in here. A place for everything, everything in its place. Let's put the extra water thing in here. All right. We are in, in business here. So, um, let's get rid of this guy. And we got a parasite or a snubs. It's a snubs. Come here, snub, snubbly doubly. Leave us alone. We're busy here. We got stuff to do. Okay, so uh, we're going to do our workbench upgrade first. So to do that, we need aluminum, lead, or two lead. No, excuse me, four aluminum, two lead, and four leather. Okay, so let's go over here. Uh, I'm just going to grab the aluminum out. I'm not going to try and count it because it's too much of a pain in the butt. And later on, when we're starting to make the more high-tech stuff, I'm just going to load up my inventory with all the ores and stuff and just do it because it's it's just easier than trying to sort it all out. Okay, and then, uh, see, aluminum, oh, leather. So leather is, where is, where's leather at? Leather is here. Okay. Whoops. Okay, cool. So we should be able to upgrade this to the repair table. So we click on this. We get our multi-tool out, and we build it. Moving up in the world, moving up in the world. I love the repair table, because once we build it, then we can repair stuff for free. It doesn't cost any resources in this game. All right, excellent. So... Um, now, if if we just look at the workbench here, you know, it's just the workbench, right, that we know and love. But if we look at this little, these little bin kind of things over here, then it opens up the repair table. And all you do is you put your object in there, click repair, and it's a done deal, man. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Let's repair our chisel. Um, the multi-tool I don't think takes damage. Now, we're going to repair these bolt rifles, and we're going to repair the pistol. And now we have fully functioning um, guns. Uh, the thing that we don't have a lot of, though, again, is the ammunition itself. So I think what I'm going to do is let's put... Um, just trying to think. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not carry around the pistol for now. Uh, we'll carry around the bolt rifle, but you only have three shots per cartridge. So we're only going to use this uh, when we really need to. Now, something very important to know. Let's get behind cover here because we got a dust storm coming in. This game, when you if you reload before you expend your ammo cartridge, you lose the rest of the ammo in the cartridge. Yeah, I know it sucks, but it's just the way that it works. So here's what I recommend that you do. Uh, if you're like me, I am used to just, you know, unconsciously, not even thinking about it, hitting the R key to reload after I fire my weapon. It's just a habit I've gotten into, right? Um, because in most cases, in most games, when you can do that and you don't lose any ammo that's left in the magazine, it just kind of goes back into the cycle. But in this game, that's not the case. So if I have three rounds left in the magazine and I reload, I lose those three rounds. So what I've done uh, for myself is I've gone into settings, uh, to key bindings, and I've set the reload key to an unconventional key that's away from WSAD. So, so for me, I've set it to zero because zero is on the other side of the keyboard. And that way, if I'm done firing and I accidentally tap R, nothing's going to happen. Because R is the default key, you, you know, which it usually is. So I recommend that you do the same thing. You don't have to use O, of course. You can use whatever key is available. But just remap this from the R key so you don't accidentally waste your ammo. Um, and, you know, then get all, all, all irritated about it because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> okay? Uh, so, yeah, that's the way it works. Now... This bolt rifle packs a punch. It really does. It's um, it, it's an amazing weapon. 
Um, the downside to it is, you know, only three shots per magazine, but man, it is a beast. Um, it does 100 base damage, plus it has 25% uh, chance of critical hit on top of that. So yeah, it, it, uh, it'll it take down most mobs in one hit if you get a good solid hit. So we're going to keep this with us, but um, we're still going to primarily use melee for now until we can get to the point where we can, you know, um, craft uh, enough bullets to where ammunition is no longer an issue. Right now we have to use it very sparingly. Okay, so so very good. We got the repair table uh, done. That was our first goal. Um, what we want to do now is we want to get the forge going. Okay, so what we have to do is... Uh, looks like the dust storm is subsiding. So we need to hit F2, go to utilities, and look at the forge, what we need. So we need a circuit board, brass, fuel cell, sulfur, wire, bronze, lead, glass, and mercury. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this to select it. And when I get out of the menu, it pins it in the upper left-hand corner and still sh and shows me what I need, which is very useful. Sometimes, though, unless you really know what the alloys are, it can be hard to tell what the alloys are, but you can tell what everything else is. So that way you can, you know, start putting it together and you don't have to keep going back into the menu over and over and over to look at it. So let's start with the circuit board. How do we make a circuit board this early in the game? What we do is we salvage these broken circuit boards and we want to go uh, to the the workbench and to, to make a circuit board, we need a broken circuit board and we need wire. Okay, so it shows that uh, up above there. Um, so let's do this. Let's go also grab this broken wire that we have. In fact, you know what? I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab the glass, the rubber, and the plastic. This is all, and the, and the cloth. This is all the scrap stuff. I'm going to go over to the workbench and I'm going to uh, create uh, whole wires out of the broken wires and whole cloth out of the, the, the bad cloth or the, the torn cloth or whatever the hell it is. And we're going to go to the furnace and we're going to create glass rubber and plastic from the scrap that we've salvaged so that's how you get these components in the early game and that is again why salvaging is so important uh, here in the early game okay we're going to put these broken pieces back in there i'm going to split this and um only keep two of those because we only need two broken circuit boards to make a whole circuit board let's put the broken wire back in there for now uh i don't think we need the leather at the moment so we'll put the leather away too now, let's go grab um, the rubber, glass, and plastic out of here, and we'll grab the wire and the cloth. And now we can make a circuit board because we have two brokens and one wire. It's a beautiful thing. And that is the first component that we need to make our forge. The forge is a game changer. It's something you, you want to make as soon as possible because, well, it's a game changer. You'll see why. All right, now let's go to uh, F2. Now, see, since we selected the circuit board, it switched it. So, you, so you'd have to go back and, and re... Um, you know, click on this. Uh, while I'm in here, though, I, the two ingots we're looking for are brass and and uh, bronze. Okay, so we make those in the furnace. So for brass, we need a copper and a zinc. Let's get that next. I'm going to just grab the copper and the zinc out of there. I'm not going to try and split it up because it takes too much damn time. And now let's make ourselves a brass. We also need to make a bronze, so we need tin and magnesium for that. So let's go grab the magnesium and the tin. And we'll make ourselves a bronze ingot. And we need copper too, which I already had in my inventory. Very good. Now let's put those two ingots in our inventory. We need a power cell, which I believe we have from looting, or from salvaging rather. Uh, so let's uh, take those. We just need one, so we'll split this. Next we need two sulfur ores. So we'll put that in there and we'll split it. And we get two nice and, nice and neat like. Next, we need two more wires. So I think I already made some wires. Yeah, I did. Okay. So we'll grab those and we'll split that and split it again. Next, we need one mercury, which is going to be right here. Okay. We have everything we need to make the furnace. So what we're going to do with the furnace is we're going to put it over here on the other side of the uh, the, the uh, little sea urchin thingamadoodle. A cactoid is the appropriate term, but we're going to continue to call it sea urchins because we can. And now we can build the forts. All right, so we're going to do left mouse button to turn it around this way so it's facing this way. I might do shift right mouse just to kind of turn it that way, just a smidge. And then we're going to tap um, F and build ourselves a forge. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful thing. I love it. Absolutely love it. 
Okay, the forge, unlike the, the furnace, we don't have to worry about a power source for the forge because it automatically has one. Um, don't ask me how. It just does. Well, I guess we did put a power cell in there, so there you go. Space Sage power cell. All right, let's look and see uh, what we can do in here. So uh, we can make uh, higher level alloys in here. We can make steel in here, which we're going to need a ton of. Power cell, solar panel kits, the chisel, and the wrench. These are the two tools that we want right now. So let's make the chisel first. So the chisel is going to require a pipe and a dime alloy, which it looks like they changed the, yeah, they changed the icon for that. So what do we need for a pipe? So we need a brass and a copper for a pipe. Let's make a brass um, uh, alloy ingot thing we do over here. Okay, put that in our inventory. Then we're going to, we need to make a pipe. So let's do that. You can hear the forge working there in the background. Okay, so we have our pipe. Uh, now we need to make a dime alloy. And dime alloy requires silver and copper. So let's grab some silver out of our, our thing here. Silver, silver, sil silver. Where are you, silver? There you are. And um, and make the dime alloy. And look at that. We can make the chisel. This is the normal chisel. We're currently been using the makeshift. This is the normal chisel. If you guys have played Osiris in the past, this is the actual chisel that you used to start out with. But um, now, you know, now, of course, you have to, to work up to it, which is really cool. I like that. I like that. Okay. Fan. Freaking tastic. So we have a normal chisel now, which means we can go over here to this guy and we can retire our makeshift chisel. I'm going to hang on to it for the moment, um, but we for all intents and purposes, probably don't need that any longer. Okay, so guys, we now have the normal chisel. That's what she looks like right there. But guess what we're going to do now? We're going to go back to our workbench, um, and we're going to... Oh, no, no, wait. That's right. I, I am... We have to do one thing. We can make the diamond chisel in here. All we need is the chisel and the diamond. We already have the resources, but we, what we first have to do before we can do that is we have to upgrade... Uh, the this to a tool station okay so to do that we need a wire a bronze an electrum and a 6l 4v okay so um let's go back here for a second i'm gonna grab wait a minute what there we go i'm gonna grab the wire okay um let's also oh shit that is a monster called an Elida. I don't know if we've seen him yet. He's pretty doggone scary looking. He's actually not that hard to kill. Um, but you know what? What the hell? Let's just have let's just have a little bit of fun with sniping here. So basically this is, should one shot him. Well, it will after we actually load the weapon. Alright, come here. You dead. And you dead. Okay. There you go. So the sniper rifle used to, um, it used to sound like a projectile weapon, you know, like an actual bullet thing. But now they change it to a laser sound effect, which I'm not actually a huge fan of. I kind of like the projectile sound instead. And these guys are a pain in the butt. So they're just really fast and squirrely. Okay, get out of here, you guys. Get out of here. Leave me alone. I'm trying to talk to the peeps here. All right, um, let's take a bandage, let's take a meat, and we're good to go there. All right, so back to business here. We need to get this upgraded to a tool bench so that we can make the diamond chisel so that we can mine anything in the game. So let's go back to upgrades. Um, we'll worry about a suit station upgrade later. Uh, right now, we're just mostly worried about the tool station upgrade. So we got the wire. We need a bronze, a 6LV, and an Electrum. Um, so let's make a bronze. Oh, I was going to, before we got rudely interrupted, that's a gunmetal and a, okay, a magn magnolium. We don't need that stuff right now. Okay, so let's see. What do we need? Uh, we need an Electrum and a 6L AL4V, whatever the hell that means. I'm not a, I'm not a chemist. I don't know. Oh, okay, we need iron and titanium to make that. That's what's going to... Uh, this, oh, and we need a molybdenum uh, to make this. Okay, so what that means, guys, is we need to go out and we need to get some molybdenum and we need to get some titanium and we need to get some iron, which we can do with our new pick because our new pick has a hardness rating of 7, okay? 
Um, so we can m harvest any or mine anything rather that's a seven. Okay, so um, uh, let me think about this. What do we want to do now? We have iron really close by, so let's go grab some iron right now. Um, we're also gonna yeah, that's gold. We don't need gold right now. Uh, we're also going to get this guy repaired. Um, it, it's not too hard to repair this thing. What makes that a little trickier is getting the fuel made. So we're going to have to find some hydrogen and some nitrogen for that. So let's go here. What does my inventory look like before we get too far away from camp? Yeah, let me go back and offload some stuff. And then we're going to go get iron, titanium, and whatever that other thing is that I need. I should probably write it down so I don't forget, huh? Uh, let's look again. Upgrades, tool station. So it's the electrum, the six, the six stuff. So we need, oh, ti okay, yeah. So we need titanium, iron, and, and molybdenum. Molybdenum. Say that really fast three times. Molybdenum, molybdenum, and forget it. Okay. So titanium, molybdenum, and iron. That's what we need. So let's put the ingots back in here for now. And the ores can go back in here for now. Um, I'm not too super terribly worried about it being organized for the moment. We're just going to put them back in there. Let's put our tech stuff back in here for now. And bio stuff goes in here. No, down here. And, uh, why do I have two of these? I don't need two of those. I must have pulled one out of a crate, so yeah, let's drop that. Okay, I think we're good to go. Um, yeah, so let's go hunting for those things. Now, the iron's going to be easy because there's iron just right up over the hill here. Um, I have, I'm going to probably have to look on my chart for the molybdenum and the titanium. I should know where that's at. Actually, you know what? Let's get our scanner out here. I've got it on my, on my sheet you know if we need to look at it so okay let's press f3 let's go to uh medium density let's do titanium okay does it show up anywhere here what about molybdenum no that's not showing up either okay so this is a these are high density minerals one thing you can do is you can just click on high density and then any high density minerals will show up that's within your scanner range. Um, but, you know, that could be all kinds of different things, right? Okay, well, let's go this way. I believe we're going to have to go north for both titanium and molybdenum. Uh, but there's iron right there. Okay, so let's grab some iron. We're gonna, Iron and... and carbon, which we can't get until we have the diamond pick, are going to be very uh, important. You're probably going to use those and maybe copper as a, and aluminum as a third and fourth the most. So, you know, if you just want to chill in the game sometime and just go out and do a little bit of grinding, grind iron and carbon. You're going to need it. You're going to need it. All right, here we go. We found some molybdenum here. This has a hardness of 6.5. We can mine anything up to 7. So we're going to grab a little bit of this. I'm not going to grab a ton of it right now just because um, I just want to get enough so we can get that upgrade made and get the diamond chisel. That is our primary goal. I think we're going to have to go north and west, though, to find the titanium. So that's going to be the longest. That, and, you know, that's kind of why... Um, no, that is why... I was saying earlier, I, I, you, you, if you can, you want to try and be in more of a central location just so you don't have to walk so damn far to get this stuff. Once we get the, you know, some of the machines and, and you know, vehicles, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But, you know, it, we're a little ways out from that. That's going to be a while. So in the meantime, we, we get to hoof it. So, yeah, it's a thing. Definitely a thing. Okay, we're going to set our um, scanner to titanium which is a medium density ore, uh, but I just happen to know that it is in the northwest, so we're going to get our scanner out, and let's make sure we're zoomed all the way out on our mini-map, and I'm just going to start running northwest until I, I see, um, you know, little dots on the screen. Ah, 
Oh, nice. Okay, so yeah, we have uh, titanium here in, in Hades Hive. Um, and that's actually, let's see, let's look north. Yeah, that's actually not even on my spreadsheet. So yeah, Hades Hive, guys, if you're looking for titanium, um, which is, you know, kind of in the, well, it's, it's pretty close to being in the center of the map. Uh, because, yeah, if we're at 3.1 lat and 0.1 launch, that's very close to the center of the map. Okay, so titanium is a hardness of 6. Uh, so I'm going to mine up some of this, and then I'll meet you guys back at the base, and we will upgrade to our, our tool bench, and then we will uh, or we'll, we'll upgrade our workbench to a tool bench, and then we'll be able to make our diamond chisel, and all will be right with the world. All right, looks like uh, Mr. Krabs here spawned in our base. Let's uh, get him out of here. You dead. Grab some meat off this guy, I guess. Oh, good. We got the head that time. That means we can get him to sink in the ground. Get him. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. We just have to hit this leg, and that should be it, right? Yep, there he goes. <laughs> okay, so we are back at base, as you can see. Let's grab... Uh, let's... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Dock on it. You don't want to eat raw meat because it will actually takes your health away. I was trying to split it up into three because it takes three pieces to make um, a cooked meat, which is actually cool because it used to be, it was five in experimental and they, they eased up on that a little bit. So now it's three, which is great. Okay, so we have iron, we have um, molybdenum, and we have titanium in our inventory. I also grabbed a little silver because it was just on the way back. Uh, so we needed to make a... Um, Oh, we need to gra uh, grab aluminum out of here. Uh, is that aluminum? No, that's silver too. That's aluminum. So we needed to make one of these guys here, and we needed to make an electrum, which we need to grab copper for. And gold. <laughs> and gold. There we go. Okay, so now we have the Electrum. Let's look in here again. Upgrade to uh, the tool station. Uh, so we need to make, uh, we need a bronze and a wire. I think we already made that, right? Bronze right there, beautiful. And we have a wire over here. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to the tool station. Get out our uh, tool here. Uh, where are you at? Here you are. Boom. All right. Now we have a workbench, and what we can do is go in here. Oh, let, actually, here, let's go grab our diamond. Uh, remember the diamond we pulled out of mine, too, and was it the last episode or whenever we did that? And we can now make the diamond chisel. Oh, baby, it's a beautiful thing. So we can now mine anything in the game, guys, including diamond itself. Oh, I love it. And check this out. It even has a diamond on the end of it. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. This game's awesome, dudes. All right, so here's the thing. We are out of time, uh, so we're going to wrap up this episode. Let me ta talk to you a little bit about what's going to happen off camera. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to salvage and remove all of this stuff, including the crates. Um, I'm going to salvage all the salvageable stuff over on these other buildings that we're not going to use yet, but I'm going to leave the crates in place so we can loot them every time we log in. So I'm going to get that done. Um, and then uh, let's take a look here. I want to go, I want to make this wrench ASAP, okay? To make the wrench, we need to make this um, NICR stuff, and that means we need to get carbon and nickel um, because that requires carbon and nickel. And so I'm going to gather that stuff off camera as well to make this. And so when we start the next episode, we'll be able to upgrade to the wrench. And you know what? Actually, hold on. You know what? I, hmm, I think I'm going to 
I want to do this first. Uh, so that way when I'm am doing all that salvaging, it's not taking a million years. So guys, um, yeah, the carbon in the nickel, it's on the spreadsheet, right? So again, I've, I've said this multiple times. If you guys are interested, I have the spreadsheet that lists the ore locations on Proteus uh, on a shared Google Drive. Just sent, simply let me know in the comments and I'll send you a link um, so if you want to know where they are, if you don't want to discover them yourself. So, so I know where they are. So I'm going to go get carbon and I'm going to go get nickel. Um, and then I'm going to come back here, make the wrench and then do all that salvaging that I talked about. Um, I'll probably spend a little bit of time farming some more ores too, and maybe farming some critters, uh, to get, uh, you know, more, more meat, that sort of thing. And then, uh, we want to, we want to do this high precision upgrade. So, uh, what do we need for talonite? We need chromium and I have the one piece of cobalt, but we're going to need chromium. So yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to gather, you know, some resources up um to prepare for the next episode and then we're just going to make more cool shit in the next episode and keep on progressing in the game okay guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have already subscribed thank you very much i greatly appreciate it it does help the channel you guys are awesome make sure you leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode goodbye